to get ice cream dressed is spontaneous. Whether it was going to Walmart at midnight to get ice cream dressed up in a full bunny, bunny costume, no, she was not a child, <laughs> or sitting in the middle of the road wearing fairy wings because it made a perfect backdrop for a photo, or stripping down naked, yes, she was a child, <laughs> To ride her tricycle down the street, Erin has always lived in the moment. As Aaron Landon said, it was too fun not to go on with Aaron. I, don't, I didn't know Landon as a child, clearly, but as an adult, he's pretty chill. At least, <laughs> at least around me, anyway. He does know how to bust out a couple of interesting dance moves <laughs> when you least expect it, like in the middle of the cowboy game at ATT Stadium on Thanksgiving. There may have been some alcohol involved in there. Or, nothing can compare to his offbeat sense of humor in a not-so-friendly game of Cards Against Humanity. <laughs> or, his amazing vocal skills in an impromptu, impromptu karaoke session, and I do have videos if anyone's interested. <laughs> Quality number two, Aaron is assertive. Some people might say bossy. Anyone agree? Everyone agree. Everyone agree. <laughs> as early as three years old, Aaron would boss, um, excuse me, um, give directions to all of the little girls in her dance class before and during the recital. One Christmas when Aaron was about seven, she decided to decorate the tree with pieces of torn notebook paper. You remember that? Because she thought they looked, she thought they looked like snowflakes. Now, since she was little, she could only reach halfway up, so the entire top portion of the tree was bare. But she, matter of factly, instructed me, "Do not change this." And she hit around the corner to make sure that I didn't. You remember that? Oh my God. <laughs> Landon must be a little bit sentimental too because their Christmas tree is nothing but corgi decorations. Y'all all met butters. Quality number three, Aaron is nurturing. <laughs> Landon, I'm so thankful you're there to make sure that butters survives another birthday because it, Aaron, Aaron wasn't always stellar with pets. Very. <laughs> Very recently, <laughs> Butters escaped a brush with death as Aaron toppled down the stairs at their apartment with Butters in her arms. He was unscathed, Aaron wasn't so lucky. When Aaron was in junior high against my better judgment, I bought her a hermit crab. Football head was his name. <laughs> Poor thing never made it home from PetSmart. It seems Aaron wanted to pet football head because they're so stinking cute, right? Well, he bit her, and she shook him so violently that he crashed against the window. <laughs> Once Erin pets at for her brother catches a hamster, and she overfed little Chompy to death. We came home to find this bloated, stiff, Fur ball with tiny feet on its back with sunflower seeds sticking out his mouth. <laughs> Quality number four, Aaron is adventurous. Aaron would text me, Mom, I decided to drive back from Texas to Texas from Oregon so it might take a little longer to get home. Mom, I'm going to Cambodia for a month. Mom, I'm Davin and Kat and I decided to hang out in Thailand for a couple of weeks. Landon and Aaron both share a love for travel and adventure. These two have traveled to Ireland, London, Costa Rica, Scotland, Italy, and all over the United States. They compete together in triathlons. They go zip lining, rock climbing, cycling, tennis, yoga, and cooking. I've included cooking as an adventure for you anyway, because Erin has her cooking skills from her mom, sorry, Lynn. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> I'm sharing some interesting text messages from Miss Erin to give you <laughs> to give you a small glimpse into her personality. Hey mom, I'm in the hospital emergency room. Talk to you later. <laughs> hey mom, my dorm room caught on fire. Dot dot dot, it happens. 
hey mom, look at the size of this roach in my apartment. I think you should start charging him rent. <laughs> mom, baloney reminds me of you. <laughs> I know you live in mom world, but it will be safe, I promise. Mom, <laughs> do you have high blood pressure? Me, why do you ask? Aaron, just answer. <laughs> oh my God, I sound like you. <laughs> mom, I can still drive back from Waco, even though it says empty, right? What's the last four digits of your social? Did you know today is National Pancake Day? Did you know my blood type? What's your Netflix password again? What kind of car do you have? Do you have that naked pic of me as a little kid? <laughs> Regarding said pic. Dang, I was cute. Oh my God, am I on a leash? I had twins. I had to keep them on a leash. Mom, I'm not ready for you to be old. Oh, I know that was like <laughs> Landon, you checked off all the boxes for my daughter. You're cute and you play guitar. <laughs> well, you are, in fact, very cute. And you can pull off sporting a kilt. You also check off all the boxes for me as her mom. You're attentive and patient, and that's a big ask. You are supportive and strong, and you're Aaron's protector. Seriously, thank you for loving my baby girl. The last five years, she's grown so much, and I know that has everything to do with you. Your babushka loves you. <laughs> to Susan and Larry, thank you so much for sharing your sweet, adorable son with our family. To Aaron and Landon, know your strengths. Lean on each other when you stumble, and you will. Show each other some grace, and support each other's crazy dreams. Laugh often and appreciate the small moments in your day that bring you joy and, more importantly, peace. Because at the end of every day, and every day, you will always be each other's wonder wall. <laughs> <laughs> to my beautiful daughter, I hope you know I've had the time of my life raising you. Landon, she's all yours now. Welcome to the family. Thank you.